for the past three years, a program that has attracted so much audience and then has been used as a platform to sensitize Gambians about um, uh, the banking sector and has been very much welcomed by the banking community as well. We, did, uh, we do that on behalf of the Bank Association. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, t coming to the coordination of the in, in anything, especially for the first time, you must have some constraint. Yeah. What are your constraints and what do you expect uh, the, the, the association to improve next uh, activity coming? Thank you. I think, um, uh, to be honest, the, the challenges and the hitches were not much. Um, if you know it was the first time we are organizing such things, the coordination has been perfect. Um, the communication has not been the best among, among members. Uh, we, we expected a higher level of communication. We were not necessarily saying everybody must contribute. Of course, money was at some point um, about to be a constraint. Uh, because uh, the contributions we expected from the different star, uh, by members couldn't come. But we understand also that um, some of them were not necessarily in the position. And, you know, some few of us, including Lamin Konate himself, who has greatly contributed um, beyond anybody else has done, um, were able to really um, uh, supplement the efforts of, of the others for us to really get there. I think going forward, I expect more participation from uh, the bike members, I expect both financially and then also in coming back to Army Water Armitage and then showcase the outcome of what has been invested in our human capacity and then um, uh, just say thank you. And then I think that's one area where Gambians are not very, very, very good at, you know, just come out and say thank you for something that otherwise, you know, you could not have achieved without mm. the help of someone. Thank you. My lecturer is saying, is telling us um, mm. somebody, what you expected to do, you do. Don't say thank you. Say well done. So, let me do for what is expected to do. Mm. So, well done to him. And for you all, yes, um, uh, that's that's sometimes a concept. Um, if it's your opinion, and I respect it, but um, it's always nice to say thank you, Jungkook, and then um, uh, we hope we can inculcate that culture of saying thank you and showing gratitude, because it just makes the person a lot happier. And you'll also agree, in our local languages, um, uh, you know, or in our local dialects, there's an adage that said, you know. To tell somebody in Nimbara doesn't mean you are clearing the farm mm -hmm. for him or anything, mm -hmm. but it pushes him mm -hmm. to be sure that he is on the right track. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think um, it is on that note that we think we could replicate this attitude. We could go by the values of turning back to show how grateful you are when somebody supports you to get something. And I think we're just going by that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Mr. Sambu. Thank you, John. Run with the 
our soul. And so we go meet the wall. One day we go stand tall. Hear this. Oh, say man on stream, man on stream, man on tire. Every day till you warm like a fire. But still I'm on your for me. Do the rod and they make idols here. You just left with us with body so far. All this thing we are still must still man this way. He make a decide for change to run again. Cause for all the book man don't see no gain. Man don't dry like in don't left so so pain. But me now for go pain and don't go run away. It's too bad, it's too bad, so so struggle. We thank you for your attendance and we almost about to end of the program now. Can you tell me a, a little brief about you first before we go into the... Well, <clears throat> um, uh, as I said yesterday, uh, I was the old man out in the, <laughs> in the hall. Um, uh, I, I'm from Boraba, you know, very close to Amitesh High School. Um, uh, unfortunately, you know, I, I didn't come to Amitage High School, so, uh, but um, in my family, elder brothers, younger brothers, nephews, nieces, uh, friends, uh, a host of them came to Amitage High School. Um, you know, so myself, um, I briefly went to Meredith Primary School, uh, probably not more than a year, and, you know, from then on, yeah, I went to Banjul, you know, to go to school and primary school, high school, you know, went to college, Sierra Leone, continued in Ghana. Yeah, so now I am the um, head of programs and, you know, at, at Tango, it's the head, I mean, the umbrella organization for NGOs. So, briefly, that's about it, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Madi, I know, how do you feel to associate, associate yourself with this uh, noble cause, which has just been beginning my study? Um, happy. Yeah, in one word, I say happy. Um, I also say proud um, to be associated with individuals um, that um, who have uh, recognized, um, uh, you know, good work, um, excellence, and who are um, committed to uh, demonstrate gratitude and appreciation. Um, you know, because in life, um, we all on this journey, on this ladder, um, what we achieve, what we can do, uh, it is not primarily because of our individual capacity, um, but because there's a foundation that has been built, you know, by someone and by the whole of society. And so all of us stand on a particular step that was already provided. So. For an individual to recognize that and therefore give um, gratitude and appreciation to um, individuals and society, including institutions like Amitai Chai School, I think that's a noble cause. And um, if all society does that, um, all individuals do that, um, it means you know we would only you know contribute to promoting excellence. Um, and development and bring about change in society. So for that matter, I feel very honored, really, and very proud to associate myself with this initiative. And I just wish it continues, but not just at Amitage High School, but in all sectors of our society, in all institutions. So I want to see many more schools do this. I want to see many more aspects of our society, um, you know, taking time to honor, to pay tribute to, you know, express gratitude to, um, you know, ourselves for our contribution to the general development of society. So I'm very happy. What would you advise them uh, as they begin this program? Yeah, yeah but how I would advise um, is that one has to be clear, you know, as to what you want to do, what you want to achieve and position yourself on that path to achieve that. Now, in achieving that, it's a whole process. Um, ideas may come from one individual, a few individuals who may demonstrate you know, immense commitment, uh, commitment not just in terms of participation, but also commitment in terms of providing resources um, to make uh, this initiative become material. Um, that is important, but um, we also have to realize that um, in order for us to make this initiative last, for it to continue to grow, uh, we have to um, 
demonstrate that commitment through democratic principles um, involving everyone, um, sharing information, um, allowing everyone to participate, you know, participation not just in terms of doing the work uh, on the ground, but also um, to access information and to express oneself. Um, you know, so all of these are essential, uh, which means we have to build structures. Um, you know, so that um, it is not in the hands of one person or a few people, but how do we de build a system, you know, in which everyone would find a place to hold uh, for it to continue? Because this initiative should, you know, outlast, I mean, you know, outlive the very people who've uh, initiated it. And if they can ensure that, then it means uh, it's, it's a success. It's, uh, it's something that will, you know, um, continue forever, you know. So how do we make it outlive? Is because we have to realize that um, all of us are um, instruments in this system, in this initiative, and therefore it should be bigger than one individual. Mm -hmm. yeah, so um, other than that, um, you know, um, I just wish them well. I think it's a great um, idea, and you know, um, and I'm sure when the news gets out. Um, a lot of people will be inspired in other sectors of our society. So probably many more people will be emulating, you know, this great initiative by, you know, the class of 1996. You know, okay. so yeah. So they have my blessings, and um, I wish them well. Thank you very much, Mr. Jewa. Thank you. You are? Um, I'm Jundo Drame. Mr. Jundo Drame. Yeah. Mr. Jundo, can you tell me a brief about yourself? Oh. Um, in Jundu, as I've said, um, I, I work with an organization, a child rights coalition called the Child Protection Alliance, as, as the national coordinator. But in my previous life, I'd worked as a United Nations volunteer, national United Nations volunteer, so to speak, with UNICEF. And that before that, um, at the Department of Social Work. And before that, I was a, a teacher, an unqualified teacher, so to speak. At, um, Amitage High School, and that's where I met Lamin Umar and, and all these other young men and women who, who've kept on inspiring me since I ro robbed soldiers with them. Okay. Mr. Drame, uh, since you have that you will be awarded with this small token of appreciation, how do you feel? A very oh, 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 elated, um, satisfied, fulfilled, um, gratified, and very thankful. Um, that you have a, a group of people, young men and women, uh, playing their role in society, but who recognize um, the, the, the small efforts of other people in their lives. And I think for me that is, that is commendable, uh, that you have people who still celebrate other people's efforts, other people's lives, and who want to say, well, you know, you may have done us some small service. Uh, the service may be good, may be poor, may be average, but they still appreciate it and, and are saying, well, you know, we will return that service with a thank you. For me, I think that is more than um, life fulfilling. Okay. Um, what would you advise your ex student members? Oh, oh, I think I think for me uh, it's it's a first time, and first times have their own own hiccups because that is the first thing you are doing. But you know I, I, what I told Umar when he asked for our advice. I, I remember this very very quotation by Kofi Annan when he was asked the same question: What would you advise your successor? And he said, I, I did it my way. I will tell him to do it its way. And I think they did it their way. And for me, really, it was it was fantastic. It was well organized, well attended, and I think it fulfilled its its purpose. Um, but I, I'll just tell them that, uh, that the sky should not be the limit for them in their individual pursuit of whatever life, whatever career they have they have set for themselves. There should be their own limits. They can go as far as Pluto if they like or to the farthest planet, even to Mars. Um, but they should, they should still reconnect with each other, have quite a lot of these reunions among themselves, 
uh, so that they can they can they can strengthen the bond that they that they have. Um, and if they're organizing it next time, also to ensure the words go around to as many people as, as possible. Um, so and I'm sure you know they would they would always always make it. I I I, I met them some 20, 21 or so years ago. And I think the, the inspiration they gave me from that day now is probably the same inspiration they are giving countless other people beyond the source of the Gambia. And, and how they have influenced my life, I'm sure that's the way they are also influencing their lives. They are all, uh, they are all great men and women, I must say. Um, greatness in what they do, greatness in what they say, greatness in the character they have. Um, and, and the services they are giving society. So I wish all of them, wherever they are on, on this art, uh, be it in the backwaters of the Gambia, be it you know in the in the masses, in the best best place on earth. I wish them all all the best and in their careers, in their lives, in their marriages, and in, in whatever in whatever career they are they are pursuing. I am I'm overwhelmed, really. I. Not quite sure if I can thank them much. Uh, I, I must say this this came as a surprise that you know after twenty something years you have people who still appreciate what you do. People who who say no, we must celebrate this person's life in his lifetime. But for me, I think I think that's just that's just great. You know. Thank you very much. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. You are? My name is Hasim Sise. Hasim Sise. Yes. Mr. Hasim, can you tell me a little about you? It's Hasim Sise. Mm -hmm. I attended the school, Amitage High School. Mm -hmm. yeah, from 1988. Mm -hmm. And I taught for a year uh, as an unqualified teacher. And I went to the Gambia College where I completed in 1991 as a qualified teacher. Um, higher teacher certificate, and I was posted to this school. Um, luckily, the first batch of students I dealt with, I taught here. Uh, the ones who are now honoring myself and my friend, you know, Mr. Trami. Um, and really, I have to repeat myself to say that it is an honor which I've accepted with much humility and modesty but also with deep sense of appreciation. And I wish to convey my profound thanks um, to this class of 1996 um, for their award, for their trust, and for the fact that after so many years, um, you know, 20 something years, they have come back to, to reunite um, with their former teachers and with their former colleagues and also to honor us. Um, I also um, studied history at university up to a master's level. Um, yeah, I write a lot, I research also. Yes. Okay. Well, um, a surprise, surprise. Um, I know really, I, I, it never occurred to me that something like this you know, was going to happen. And, um, but at the same time, I said, well, we live in an era when many people, particularly young people, are continually experimenting with new ideas and new initiatives, which, if supported, can lead to good results for everybody in the Gambia. It's good to honor people, um, to mark or to register um, your sense of appreciation and thanks and gratitude. But when you do that, you make role models out of people so that younger generation are able or also are willing to strive um, to be like um, those who have been honored. So I think it's a brief experiment, a very bold one, but at the same time it's an experiment which I pray um, shall not stop here, and shall continue. Yeah, I mean, uh, with this group of 1996, but also with other groups, yes. As you 
where I'm ex student of this school. Yes. No, this one is initiated by 1996 by. Yeah. And you also might be sitting one day maybe with this thing. You may have something in mind. What can I do after when these people will do it? What do you think in future you can able to you can also do to to attract other people as an ex student of this girl? Well, like I said, the first thing to do is to continue to extol the great virtues of the school Amitage. Like I said in my presentation yesterday, I chose the presentation uh, um, on the history of the school deliberately, so as to remind uh, you know pupils now, uh, later and before, that this school has a great and wonderful history which every Gambian has to be proud of. Uh, from humble beginnings, like I said yesterday, school for sons of chiefs only, and today it has become an institution, okay, of higher learning for. Gambians from all walks of life and like I said yesterday the school has produced you know some of the best and the brightest that this country has ever produced and will ever produce in the future so basically uh, the challenge um, for all of us who have passed through the school is to continue to explain the story of the school to generations now and to come okay so that they will appreciate that in fact they are working along corridors um, where um, great men and women you know, had worked before and, and, and in therefore to cherish um, the fact that they have been able um, you know, to attend mm -hmm. I mean, like a school like this. Yes. Lastly, what will be your advice? Well, that they should continue to do good things and love their country. Okay? I mean that they should um, they continue to uh, unite, particularly now that the world uh, you know, has gotten smaller, okay, you know, communication has gotten easier, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So they should continue to unite, mm -hmm. continue to be in touch, uh, to build networks, you know, and continue to honor each other and their teachers um, for the betterment of the country. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You are? I'm Master Mane. Master Mane. can you tell me? A little brief about your educational background and what I do now. Well, um, as you know, I started with Amitage High School. Mm -hmm. Then from Amitage, I went to the St. Thomas Girls Professional School for two years. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I started to work with Gamtel. Uh, during uh, uh, up to now, I'm still working with them. But then I've done some um, courses with um, first was plus. Um, I'm Count Ross with Armstrong, and then I did two courses at the GMI. The other one is um, business management. They have advanced and standard and advanced level. Then the last one I did was um, the recent one. <laughs> How is it here? Is <laughs> okay. Uh, this year, that's the last one I did with the GMI. So, what are your position in uh, in Gamtel? Well, I work in the internet cafe. Internet cafe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, my cafe. my first time to organize such, so I can't enable guests to. What would you, how do you inspire, or how do you see when you were first called and they tell you that this is what we are organizing, and if you are willing to attend it, how would you feel at first when you were part of this thing? Well, when I was informed about this, I was overwhelmed. I was happy because you you feel happy when you do something good and then you hear people are going to reward you back. And there are teachers that, um, I would say, um, have made put some impact on us because we are the first teachers who taught us when we came to Amitai High School. That was in 91. Um, so 17 years ago, and then when we, when this idea came of trying to recognize what they did to us, um, for us, is something um, like um, it's what emulating. It's a nice gesture, okay. and I really was in for it, 100 percent. What would you advise the other members of 
stuff was to that. Well, uh, what I would say, um, just it's like it's an example, and it's an example what emulating. This is the first step, and I think it will go, it will be a bold step that others will take to follow suit as we are doing, and we will come together as one big family, like the S um, um, take students, to be doing such things every year. Thank you. Very much. You are. I'm Mr. Suleiman Jao, the president of the Amitech Students Association. Okay. Mr. Suleiman, are you working? Uh, no, definitely I'm not working. I'm a student of law, and then actually I was working with the newspaper as well as a reporter. Okay. That's really important. Uh, you are the first president of the ex Association, or the second? No, I'm not the first and I'm not the second. Mr. Jala was the first president of the association and then seconded by Karamba Gyaula and then I became the president uh, on the 20th of May 2012 uh, and since then I've been responsible for the styling of the mantle of affairs of the association to ensure that you know, the issue of you know, Amity Senior Secondary School becomes a priority to every student of Amity so that we also uh, help to inculcate the values that we have learned at Amity to other young people that are recently going to school in Amity, you know, as well as help them you know, to create that enabling environment and give them that opportunity that we have not had when we were in school and then provide them with a lot of materials that will make them okay with what really is happening in the world with, you know, to make them you know, size up to what other students you know, in the cosmopolitan area and other parts of the Gambia and other parts of the subregion as well you know, are up to so that they will also you know, be producing results you know, that will be uh, to the best delight of all you know, in the country and beyond. Uh, Mr. Jao, what inspires you when we come here to award these uh, great people of their experience? Yeah, I, I believe like uh, one should be part of you know, a development. You know, like if people are initiative and then initiatives are brought on board, it is quite prudent that you join the crusade to ensure that you know you also make history because this is uh, something that is very much uh, important it is very much you know historic and it is very much momentous seeing the 96 by coming together and then identifying certain teachers who have impacted knowledge in their life you know some people who have changed their life for good some people who have made them who they are today giving them awards you know which is really you know exemplary and it is quite commendable and I'm thanking them all you know for really you know taking up this dimension the initiative is very much uh, important and I'm urging them to continue to do this you know year after year and then we hope that this will expand to a larger magnitude where you know it will attract the interest of all not only the 96 by but the interest of all the students of Amity because like you know this is so this is one way of showing gratitude to people who have actually you know doing done heroic job people who have transformed your life you know positively and then like I will also urge other students, not only the 96 but to come together as well and form you know, such, such branches you know, because it is all under the Amitad Students Association but like any time our support is needed we will always come and give them our support so it is also you know, imperative that they also come together to be complementing you know, the efforts of those who have taught them you know, to show gratitude to those who have impacted knowledge in them by awarding them, you know, by organizing other programs that are very much educative for students of Amity to learn from because they are the elders. They started you know, coming to school when some of us were crawling. You know, some of them graduated when we were not born. So us coming together, you know, probably you know, when they came to Amity, we were not here. But because of you know the burden, you know we were we, we, we are all actually you know bounded by the burden the bond that holds us together as boarding students. You know coming to Amity life from 1960 when someone graduated from 2010 or 11, you know makes sense. But like the spirit of boarding nature in all of us it makes us to love each other more when we meet. You know it was quite amazing that when we met here, you know I've never met people like. Uh, Mr. Moon, people like Mr. Kawale, but when we met, you know, it was like you know we've known each other for 10 years. You know, this is the beauty of Amity. We should not work, you know, because of you know we want to uh, impress people, but we just have to know that we are Amity students, and then really, you know, this is what we have. This is the school that we have, and then we also must preserve history because, like, what we contribute here right now, you know, will reflect 
you know, what is going to happen in the future. And then we also hope that you know, other people as well will also recognize their efforts in other parts of the world where they will be awarded you know, to the light of every Gambian. So definitely, you know, that, that, that basically you know, what this really is. And then on behalf of my colleagues and on my personal